Hello comic book community, Dragonheart here, back in front of the camera again, with a little elephant up here, hello, yep, actually it's a pretty big elephant, anyway, getting off, getting off track already, so hello, um, I wanted to make this video before, but I never really got the chance, I ran, kind of ran out of time, had a bit of a busy day, I actually got a bit of a busy day today, so I don't know how, how much I'll be able to record right now, but, so anyway, um, I have something here to show you, just got a little, little mini series I picked up, plus a, one or two other little bits and bobs, just to show you off. This will be a um, pretty quick little video actually. So um, let's go with it. Ugh. What I've picked up here, a little Top Cow mini series called Kin. It's something um, a little bit different. I was just browsing through eBay and saw the whole lot for about £3, so I thought you can't go wrong with that. Six issue mini series, and I thought why not? Let's give it a shot. I want to show you through the covers here first. This here is issue number one. And issue number two. Issue number three. Issue number four. Issue number five. And issue number six. I have two um two variant covers of this. I'm not hundred percent sure which is um the standard and which is the alternate cover, but I'll show you them both here anyway. That's issue number six there. And number six again. Of the two, I actually prefer that cover. So yeah, that's cool. Let's lay these out. So the um, I'll give you a little overview of the basic story of this without trying to give too much away. The basic story is that um, Neanderthals have actually survived into modern times, and they're actually a highly advanced race. Right. Technology well beyond our, our um, capabilities. And so there's been some big corporate plot to um, invade them all and um, steal all their technology for us. Which is um, nothing super special as far as the story goes. <laughs> They're an alright little series. There's can't go wrong for three pounds with this lot, so I'm kind of, I'm quite pleased I got them. Well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to go out of my way and pay too much for them. The artwork inside is nice enough, but um, whenever they get anyone gets angry, perfect example here. They seem to froth at the mouth a lot, and that goes for everyone, the um, the, the Neanderthals, the actual humans themselves, everyone, that gets a bit over the top. <laughs> Almost every other page has someone slobbering in it. So, that I didn't particularly like. But other than that, it's a nice enough little story. And it ends on, um, it ends completely open-ended without really accomplishing anything, which is a shame. I don't know if they'd perhaps planned on doing a follow-up mini-series or what, but it seems like they haven't. So that's a bit of a shame. That was that was the, that was the um, the biggest disappointment. Just the fact that nothing really seems to get wrapped up. But no, so that's that. Quick little mini series there for it. Get these out the way. And I have one other comic here to show you. Issue four of a different mini series, also Top Cow, funny enough, called Dragon Prince. This was um. Just a f this is just a four issue mini, mini series. I picked up the first um, three several years ago um, while I was in Florida. Actually, I um, I just never ever got around to picking up issue number four, so I finally got myself that sorted out and put um, got that sorted. 
And the, um, it's a nice little story. Again, nothing super special, nothing groundbreaking, but the basic story. Oh, I'm gonna have to try and remember this. I might be a little bit off base here because it has been years since I've read it. But if I remember rightly, that the basic story was um, that dragons have more or less disappeared from the world, and no one knows where they've gone and things like that. And then someone, some kid, turns out to be like the. Um, the, the latest in the bloodline of the dragons and things like that. Like I, said, I don't remember the exact story, but it's something along those lines. <laughs> it's alright. Again, like I say, nothing super special, but it's a nice enough little story. Something I thought, thought interesting about this, I'll try not to show you too much. There's absolutely nothing inside other than the actual comic itself. It doesn't even have a back cover. I won't show you too much in case you decide to read this. But even the, the actual back cover is another page. <laughs> I think it's the only comic I've ever had like that. Oh yeah, that's all of the comics. I also have one little DVD pickup here, which is the um, the fifth season of The Big Bang Theory. I picked this up at work. I think this is a brilliant series. I actually picked this up on the, um, the day of release over here. That's pretty awesome. I really like this. It's a series that has just gotten better and better with time. I'll show you the back of the box. It's in a little slipcover thingy. You close up with the special features there. And we got Big Bang Theory at 100, which is um, the cast and producers celebrating the fifth hunt, well, 100th episode. Big Bang Theory's laws of reflection, the cast looking back at their favourite memories, professors of, re of production, behind the scenes, and a gag reel. So nothing super amazing as far as um, special features go, but it's one of those things. I had wanted to pick this up on Blu-ray, but I had um, money off coupon at work, and they only had the um, DVD version of it, so what I'll probably do, I have all the other four seasons in um, DVD as well, I'll probably, um, probably what I'll do, I'll wait until they've actually finished the whole thing, and then get a big old box set of the whole lot in Blu-ray. So that's that one. And last but not least, I have another drink can to show you. It's the second drink can to add to my little collection. I think I can now officially call it a collection, now that I have two. <laughs> Rather than just a can on the shelf. It's um, don't know how well you can see it, it's very dark, but it's the Dark Knight Rises can. It's got the um, Batman smash helmet there, or smash mask. It's a no fear can. I was, um, again, I was walking through work. I work at a supermarket, by the way, which is why they have all these completely random things all together. They had, um, I just saw this sitting on the shelf. I had a double take. I, I walked past it. I didn't even notice it, considering the your regular no fear can is just a black can anyway. I didn't even notice it at first, but I, um, so I had to double take and have another look at that. I thought that's just kind of cool. So I, so I picked up a can of that and um, I stuck that up on my shelf with the other one. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's, um, that's everything there. Let's see if I'm in frame. Just about. So yeah, that's um, everything there. Like I say, just a quick little video of some random bits and bobs. I do have two others I'm going to record right now as well. Um, two weekly hauls. They but they don't they turned up. The first one I'm going to show you turned up yes no the day before yesterday, and the other one turned up yesterday. So I haven't had much of a chance to read through them yet. And um, unfortunately, the um, the first of the two it must have been delayed in post or something. It was um, more than two weeks coming, which is a little frustrating. But they're here, so I'm I'm fine with that. So I will um, leave you there for now. Get on recording the next video, and I will see you in a few minutes. Goodbye.